since there are already a lot of code here, so we will delete those unnecessary things. Like we will delete these two buttons, and we will delete the input field because we already no need to change the name. So we are going to delete these buttons markup, and we will also delete the change name handler and also the input handler. And these two properties also need to delete because we already do not need these functions. And we do not have the button markup, so we already need to delete this. And since we do not have children of the props, because we already delete the markups, so this can become a self-closing card. Now we can go to the card. And since we already do not have the on change input and on change name these two properties, we can delete the hold input field and we can add the cast button red because we will use this button to delete this item. And we do not have the on click or we may need to buy to another function later, so we delete this first in order to get rid of the error. Maybe I change this cast to button red and button blue. And we can also change this name to be delete because the function will become delete. So now instead of we copy and paste the card three times, we are going to look through the objects. So now we are going to create a card object to demonstrate how to render a list. So now we are going to create a card and maybe set cards. Although it do not use, we may not use. So we add these three dummy data here and we will look through the card at here. Now, since we are not going to just show one card, we are going to show more than one card. So we have to add a bracket here. And then by using the math function, if you remember, we already taught in the ES6 review. So it will look for each card. And then we render the card. So we can copy this one and paste it here. Now you already can see there are three data. So there are three cards here. And since we are not using the same name every time, so actually we can delete this one. We are using this free data. So we are going to buy the cards dot name. So we will have three different names. And also we are not going to use this profile image. So now we already look for all three objects and you can see there are three different names, different title and also different profile image. But as you can see it already there is a warning that you should have a unique key and we will fix this later. In this part we want to click the red button such that the specific card is deleted. For example if we click on this delete button, this card will be deleted. So now we need to create a new function. We name it at delete handler. In order to let the React know which card is going to be deleted, he need to know the index. So we have to add the index here. And also we are going to buy the method. So we add a event listener on delete is equal to delete card handler. And since we will going to pass the index to the function, so 
we will use the arrow function and we go back to the cut.js and since we are going to delete we need to buy this buy the on delete method to on click so we will pass the props dot on delete now we back to the app.js and go to the delete card handler and we will pass the card index and we want to make a copy of the cards so we let the constant cards copy equal to cards the cards is at here so after we get the index we will delete the specific one so we will using the sprites and then we set cards now we try to delete the card nothing happened why we can try to console dot the card copies and the cards to take a look So if we click on the delete, you will see both of them have the same number of cards. Even the cards only has two cards. This is because at this stage, the cards also delete one card. This is because our race is reference type. So in order to really make a copy, as we discussed before, we need to use the spread operator. Now we can take a look again. If we delete one, you will see the cards really deleted. So the cards copy only has two cards and the cards still have 